guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for tuning for the first time you are so welcome please go ahead and hit that subscribe button this hair is from koi koi i want to put the link of this hair in my description box because see guys you guys you need this hair so today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys everything regarding dating online today is the most requested video i've ever gotten recently honestly ever since i dropped that video of how i met my husband to be on dating app everybody the fact, the fact that you guys left youtube and came straight to my instagram dm to ask me and go say what is this app somebody i think i've mentioned it earlier meeting my partner meeting my current fiance is not the first time i tried dating online okay so in this video before i give out the app i want to make sure i prepare you for what you're going to see and also make sure that i prepare you yourself for what you want to bring to that platform so let's just jump into the video because i don't want to make it do too long some of these things are written down here that i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of them i did them unconsciously but it's not about dating online there's advantage and disadvantage to everything okay like me it worked perfectly for me i met my now fiance like we're planning a wedding right now it's working perfectly well for us but there are other people that it didn't work out for in fact in fact i made my little research and i realized that even on the same app where i met my partner there are people that had bad experience so it's not always that rosy so so that you just know what you're expecting and you can keep your expectation very neutral you get you guys need to know before you go into online dating honestly these things are so important they might sound so little but they are important so the first thing i wrote down here is uh you have to choose a platform where you want to you know explore this dating thing meeting online is a, is a normal thing for me it's a normal thing that happened i had dated online before i met my fiance so it's not like a big deal so you can meet anybody anywhere so i'm going to say don't like you're trying to meet somebody on instagram like when i meet someone on instagram i mean like replying your dms if you had a good number of followers like me i have almost 100k followers so there's always somebody in the dm trying to get attention some of them are not so genuine let me just break it down to you but some of them are actually just like you and just want to meet you and you know be friends with you i'm trying to explore instagram to explore youtube you know, just to explore facebook and you're also on different app different dating app you're just going to get confused and carried away with your attention you're getting so you want to make sure that you're channeling your energy to just one side if this app does not work maybe you try your dm so that's one thing i need you guys to know when it comes to dating online the only thing you got the only thing they say eh, don't judge everybody by its cover i am going to judge you by your cover online because that is the only thing i see i know that there's a level to this thing the way people go with fake life on instagram social media yes but at the end of the day i don't know you in person i've not seen you before i don't know you from adam so the only thing i have to judge you is your physical appearance is that you have to dress the way you want to be addressed okay when i met my partner i was already dating along the line i asked him that what made you you, uh, like my picture because he had to like my picture before i can match with him so so i asked him that what did you see why do you like my picture hoping that i match with you he said that because he saw the way i dressed he saw my parents i was looking so good like my hair was done my makeup was very light i was looking so good so you want to look really put together and carry yourself so the kind of way you present yourself on social media or on dating app also matters you are going to be addressed the way you are dressed. If you dress wrongly, like all your boobs is out, all your waistline is out everywhere, or your in fact, all your body you are almost naked, you are going to attract the wrong kind of um, toasters. If that makes sense, so you want to make sure that you don't give up the wrong impression by like dressing or putting a certain kind of picture. These men are going to be in your chat, liking your pictures, want to match you, not because they find you like responsible or they find anything because they feel like oh easy access you know that kind of thing so when you're uploading pictures on dating app make sure that you upload something that represents you as a person but if you're looking for the kind of like you want to put out yourself out there for, for another reason that outside actually dating i don't have problem with that your life i don't have issue with that but i'm just saying like if you actually want to go actually date like for a good reason you want to like present yourself well app if you're going to date on the on the app or you're going to meet somebody on social media don't start up with lies tell the truth tell your actual age tell okay i read something online I can't, I can't remember if it was on twitter or instagram but this lady said she was dating somebody she met somebody online they were dating everything was cool in fact they were even talking marriage and the problem is that the guy is coming back to nigeria but she does not want to meet him she loved him but she does not want to meet him why because she had lied earlier that she was a virgin who does that this is 21st century who still lie about being a virgin like for me like tell the truth there's no because you don't know where it's going to get when i met my husband dating app 
In fact, two months to our relationship, I was still, I didn't even know we were going to get married. Okay, so you don't know if you had lied earlier and it started making sense and your relationship started coming together, you'll be kind of, there'll be a restriction because you don't want to go into it because you had lied earlier and most times you wouldn't know how to face this these people i am not the quickest one to tell you my story okay because i need to know you i need to know that you're worthy of my story i need to know that you have that mindset to be able to carry and absorb uh, my life story so i won't just go and start telling my story but i will also not lie about anything you ask me or i will not lie about things that are basic for example if i want to date someone I myself, I'm in my 20s, I have a certain kind of age in me that I cannot date. I'm sorry, but I, when I was going through the app, I had, like, there was age there. I put my real age. If I'm seeing your age and it's not matching, go. Imagine me meeting my husband right now, and after we started talking, and he told me, oh, I'm actually not 30-something. I'm 27, I'm 26. We're done. We're done. So this is why you don't have to lie about your age, okay? You don't have to lie about any small thing on, on dating app because you really don't know who will take you serious. You don't know how the relationship will go. I didn't know my own will end the marriage, so you want to start off with truth. Any relationship that starts with lies will, will end up in lie. It's going to be lie, lie, lie. So start with the truth. Tell them your actual age. Tell them anything more. I work here. My parents are this. Even my partner right now, he used to kind of comment me for that. He told me that ever since he met me that... I stick, to, I stick to the same story I told him right from day one. And now that he knows me, he knows my friends, he knows my family, it's still the same story. Like, he found out that everything I told him from day one has always been truth. So that's just how I am. I am not the easiest to come tell you about my life, but I give you time. But when I'm ready to, I will say the truth. If I'm not ready, I will tell you I can't answer it. I remember when we went straight into a relationship, we were dating, he asked me something about my sexual life. I told him, I cannot answer this question at this time. Like, that's just it. He told me to come and lie. Oh, I have not dated anybody in my life. I don't even have this. You are my first boyfriend. He told me to come and start lying. I'd rather not answer that question. Then when I'm comfortable, I'll give you the details. In fact, I'll give you breakdown. <laughs> details that's my life so don't start up dating online with lies because saying these things because these things are real it might sound like oh it's, it's not that serious it is because online dating is not like physical dating online dating is whatever they tell you is what you believe you're not there with them you don't even know them if the person say i am i am this i am the president of nigeria you will believe it because that's what they are telling you so you want to make sure that you're truthful so that by the time it's start, it started making sense you're not so scared of oh i had lied to them about this da, da, da. yeah this leads me to another thing of using your real pictures. I don't think anybody will use their or that their another person picture for dating online. People do it though. People that want to, you know, imposters. They want to appear to be somebody else. So, but me, I would advise you that you use your actual picture on this app where I met my on the app when I met my partner. Like they have this verification thing because if you say female, you have to verify your face that you are actually female. So make sure you use your actual pictures. And this leads me to telling you that make sure you may also make sure you use pictures that depict the way you are you don't want to be in a place of what i ordered was what i got okay use picture that appreciates you that makes you look the way you are in real life don't use pictures that are so covered up with so many filters let's be realistic we all use filters we all use filters but when it comes to dating online especially on dating app don't use pictures with filter because this person might have a wrong image of you in their head and when they see you they're like this is not what i saw online okay uh, so please use pictures that appreciate the way you look like the actual picture anybody that like you will like you for who you are okay i use a very simple picture of myself if i'm if i find it i'm going to put it here i really want to find this picture so you guys can know the kind of picture i'm talking about picture that just make you look good okay you look good when they see you in real life and you're all dressed up that's exactly what you you look like okay anybody that want to like you that way will like you even if you don't they will still like you the way you are okay so so use picture that's not no too much filter no no filter i would just advise no filter at all this picture might give you the kind of features you naturally don't have for your profile picture for your pictures because they're going to ask you to build i think about four three to four pictures just so this, just so these people can see other pictures of you and how you look i'm saying this it might sound like oh it's not important it is because this dating dating line dating online this is online dating and these are the things that people see these are the things that people look into naturally like me when i saw my partner he had three pictures i went through his picture and when i saw his picture it was so good like it was dressed so decently put together it looks fresh like his hair cut fresh shirt everything was smooth you know men that look good they are dressed well decent their hair cut everything was just giving when i saw him immediately i just knew this is my type and when i asked him he saw me he was like 
this girl is my type okay this girl i was doing off like a decent you know decent sexy girl kind of way <laughs> so you want to make sure you put a picture that appreciates that when you see them in real life they're like okay that's what i got that okay gradually if you put all this in place i think it will lead you to somebody and before you know it you're going to be talking about meeting okay so if you want to meet this person please don't agree to meet them immediately you start chatting give them some days maybe eight nine ten days like two weeks if you can before you agree to meet them don't instantly agree because you don't know this person yet i know you can't be trust over just two to three days but at least to just know this person to, to an extent don't just agree to just go on date if Immediately you guys start talking is shocking you the next moment you want to go on date take your time to want to know them if they propose for dates and you don't want to meet them yet say you don't want to meet them if they say they want to meet you and you're not ready to meet them tell them you're not ready when you're ready and they want to they still want to meet you fine you're a woman they should chase you so don't uh don't agree to meet them on, on their own terms and here okay so let's be on your own terms when you're ready when you want to see them because we women we take time to process things when i wanted to go and see my 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 now fiance then i was like am i sure i want to see this person i am not ready for any awkward moments i'm a very jovial person i'm not ready for anybody that will make me feel like you know a certain way i thought about it and i was like okay this guy i'm already feeling his vibe let me see what he got so make sure you're already convinced that you want to see them and i won't say love because you can't develop love immediately like that i don't know but like it, it didn't happen for me i had to like know him more and more before i fell in love with him so but but what, the reason why i'm using the word vibe was that i was feeling his vibe i could relate to his story i could relate to the way he talked we laugh about don't let anybody pressurize you into meet meet me so make sure you're already sure and you're comfortable that you want to meet them this takes me to the next point before you go meet anybody you meet online be it instagram be it social media or dating app or dating website please inform your family and friends friends i know it will sound like oh i'm a private person i'd like to involve you into my story into my life life this is not the time to be private okay because online can be really crazy people are creepy people are weird out there so you want to make sure that you have told your friends when i was going to see my my partner my friends can testify to this i sent them the location this is where i am i sent them his number and his picture this is what i'm going to see now it's my fiance so <laughs> but you just have to be like secure you have to self secure yourself like you want to make sure you inform your friends where you're going or your whereabout before you decide to go see this uh, stranger you met online so please tell your friends okay i remember telling my friends if you're not so close if you don't have any close friends that you have tell your sister call your sister your brother see i'm going to this place this place so this is the location this is the person's number in case anything happened i remember when i was there I told my friends I'll be back by around seven, eight. When it is eight, my friend had to call me, Mercy. I'm like, girl, where are you? Like, are you okay? Are you all right? I was like, yeah. <laughs> It's going well okay so please make sure you inform your friends because you want to be safe please especially here in nigeria before you go and meet anybody you meet online tell your friends send them the picture their number and the location of where you are going please and also tell them the reason don't be sneaky this is not the time to be sneaky when you meet people online don't come and be saying oh i don't want anybody to know i met him i don't want anybody to you know tell them i met this guy online we'll be talking and i want to go see him face to face let them know in case anything, anybody anything happened they will even know where to find you i'm just saying this just so you guys will know that online dating is not so sweet and so you know it's not so sweet and so simple the way i'm saying it okay date before you meet whosoever you want to date online you want to also make sure that you guys had you know talked about some certain things things that are very simple as telling the person how tall you are want to let the other i'm not telling him that see i look very tall in pictures but i'm not so tall in, in real life okay i am not a tall girl but i have tall features okay you know how they say somebody is short but their body is not short so that's how i'm built i don't know how to explain it i read it on, online and it's a thing that look my body look like i'm tall but i'm actually tall high height wise so that's that's why sometimes when people see me from far they said oh i look taller from far so when i come closer you can see that i'm a shorty so i'm not even sure if i'm up to five five so <laughs> i'm not really on the tall side so i told him already so if you see me this is all it don't finish now maybe this so if you see me real life this is all i've got this is all of me so you want to make sure you tell i remember when i wanted to go and meet my ex when i met my ex and we decided to meet in person i remember telling him that how tall are you and look this is how tall i am too it was like okay so when he met me in person was like you're not even that short the way you describe i'm like i just wanted to tell you i just wanted to know that you're not coming to meet a tall babe okay so this kind of thing can make you uncomfortable like maybe oh babe, because oh you, you they think you're tall and you are trying not to impress you 
you feel so uncomfortable to want to meet them these are actually real life it can even be your skin color your skin your skin type okay you can actually want to tell the person send multiple pictures don't be shy to want to send pictures okay when this person when this person started beauty interest and they want to meet you and they ask you can i see more pictures send them more pictures that show your actual the way you look okay i don't have time for surprises if my husband didn't look the way he looked i saw him in all his pictures i'll probably be having like some hake or something but when i saw him in person man looks even way better men are very terrible with pictures angles because when i saw this man I was like this one doesn't know how to take pictures because it looked better in person it was exactly what i ordered <laughs> honest truth you just want to put out some little information it can be like oh i'm this kind of person it can even be as simple as telling them that say i am an Igbo girl in case you have issue with Igbo person let's not let's start now and start dissolving this thing so you want to make sure that you put out the small small information that makes you feel awkward i remember when i wanted to meet my partner i didn't know it was yoruba because he used his english name so i didn't know it was yoruba so after some time talking he started to like get my number and let's talk on phone he always check up on me and he was like he called me he was like hello immediately he spoke <laughs> i just knew that this is a typical yoruba man i was like damn i got myself a yoruba demon <laughs> because he has a yoruba accent and immediately he spoke i just knew that this man was Yoruba, but I didn't have issues with Yoruba people. In fact, I like Yoruba people because I grew, I was born and brought up in Yoruba land. And so it was not an issue for me. So just make sure that this kind of little information, you know them before you meet them in person. So you don't get irritated or you don't get like an awkward moment kind of thing. You've, you've discussed how to meet them. Now the next step is actually going physically to meet them. This particular one is for everybody. If you're a guy, if you're a babe, please listen. If you're going to meet somebody for the first time, let me tell you this. If this is the only thing you want to take out of this video, let me be like you take something out. Just know that there's no second time for first impression. Okay? First impression just happen once in a lifetime. It's not like I see you today, tell me, oh, this is not my real self. Let's meet tomorrow so you see my real self. No, I have seen you, I've seen you. If you're a guy, I want to know that hygiene is not gender specific. Okay? You don't want to say, oh, because I'm a guy, let me just put on my shirt, I'm going to shirt and I'm going to go. No you're going to meet a babe that you've not seen in your life you've not met and you guys are talking and you don't know where to go if you have to shave if you have to like cut your hair do it if you have to like take your bath brush your mouth wear a nice clean shirt fine don't just put anything on brush your hair bro. you're good to go make sure you look good and for my babes of course you want to look good carry yourself the way you want anybody to carry you if you come to a first date and all your bum, all your boobs all your waistline all your bum everything is out immediately you're giving up a wrong impression of yourself if, if that's what you want to portray fine good and fine everybody have their options and how they live their life but if you actually want to appear like somebody that is serious with your life you want to make sure that you're giving up that uh, thing of oh I got myself okay make sure you're looking very put together i i not say go and wear mirror and macaw because me myself i didn't even wear mirror and macaw this is what i wore if i remember this is what i wore i don't think i have a full picture of it this is the dress i wore the first date i the first time i was meeting up with my now fiance this is how this is the dress i wore well this is not me going to meet him this was my outing with my friends but this was the same this was the dress i wore and this was how my face looked let me show you guys this is why i look so carry yourself the way you want them to carry you don't do too much and don't do too small okay you're not doing this for them you're doing this for yourself okay so that the way you carry yourself is the way they perceive you they came with the wrong impression immediately their impression is going to change you know brush your teeth your your breath is smelling fresh it's not for this guy because some of them don't even deserve all this effort it's for you see if i feel comfortable in myself eh, immediately i feel comfortable in my own skin forget good i don't have a picture of my fiance i'll put a picture of how it looks so, it was so nice it was on sneakers hair well cut like it was looking so nice everything was put together like it looked like two of us really came to show off so it looks so put together and so nice smells so good and that was it so give up the best impression you can give not for them but because of yourself even if you guys didn't end up dating they will remember that ah I'm going to see one girl like that this girl she came prepared she came looking nice okay don't overdo too much makeup just make sure that you look well put together and you look like somebody that's taking care of herself so now that you met them when you go on dates uh from from dating you would decide the, you guys would decide if you want to go on second dates and whatever you want to take the relationship to it's not my business anymore all i have to do is prepare you for the journey till you get to meet when you meet then you can do whatever you want to marry you want to date whatever you want to do is fine but my only 
journey is to let you know my experience and what you should know before you meet this person so when you meet them don't be so shy i know you can be shy when i met my husband i was sitting in front of the lounge he came out of the and the he came out of the building to come and pick me i was so nervous if this person is your person immediately you see them you're going to be relaxed and that's it last but not the least please do not do anything sexual after you meet them depending on what you want and what you believe but me i just feel like things you do first impression can just sell you out wrongly it can sell you out wrongly okay there are just some things i can't do the first date not because of you but because that is not how i want to present myself okay this is just for my girls okay don't let any man push into anything sexual you don't want to do don't be so sexually available you know don't let them touch in a certain way i'm saying this because i'm very very honest in this video so guys that is all you need to know about dating app and when you get yourself to that point where you've gone through all these stages and all this experience and you want to continue from there ngozi has nothing to tell you because relationship differs so you meet them in person make sure you ask a lot of questions any question you want to ask ask i know you guys are waiting like what is the name of the app already that's why we are here <laughs> so the name of the app where i met my partner is called bumble this is how it's spelled and this is the app it's called bumble it's an application it's available for android and um, iOS so you can download it register and just explore okay just explore and if you ever get to meet maybe your boyfriend your partner you come to my DM on Instagram come and gist me so guys that's where I met my partner that just is about this video I said let me share this experience and this whole thing you guys need to know about dating online it's not so rosy the way people make it look people have gone through a lot of stress just because they are on dating app and also shine your eyes shine your eyes people can pretend people can be creepy make sure that shine your eyes okay guys that's the end of today video i hope you guys enjoyed this if you do please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys